it up. I was going to do my, my, uh, the good. But right now, you know, I think I'm going to do the, uh, Cantina Aliens. But look at this. Look what I found. Love that. Look at his lips. Put some lipstick on it. There's his eye. Where's his eye? I've never seen his eye. There it is. Yeah. So, yeah, I love this. Tell you what, I wish they would have had this when I was a kid, man. I'd have killed for this. So, he's even, he's even furry. So, okay, we'll get into the band, or the, the bar people. Let me gather up the band here. I know there's more band. Oh, there's, I've got all their little equipment, but there's the band, guys. Him. Him. You see better if I do that now. There we go. There's that guy. I love these guys. Uh, look at their face. Got like a little puss face or something. Nothing wrong with that. Got new best friends. Um. I got a couple of these. Walrus Man. See, I know these actual names. Once again, man. Five years ago, you'd have tested my fucking Star Wars knowledge on these people's names. All I have to do is go read a book. Read the fucking Star Wars encyclopedia or Star Wars fucking character catalog and they'd all come back to me. Uh. Greeto. Got a couple different Greedos. Uh, there's an extra greedo. I just put this fucking... Because there's got to be more than one. I mean, there is. Of his race. So I just had an extra one and put that shit on him so it looked like a different greedo. Or different Rodian. There's the... Prey Mantis from the one scene. The old... I think they... Yeah, they took the scene with the Prey Mantis out of the Cantina scene. And I think over the top of that, they replaced him... Oh, here's another of the band. So, um, where's he at? Where's he at? Yeah, pretty sure they replaced... You know what? I don't remember now. But I think they... It wasn't this scene taken out and they replaced... Because that's... Shit, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank now. There's some scenes in the old filming of Star Wars... When they did the reissue shit, they took out certain people and placed in new creatures. And I'm pretty sure he's gone, and he's gone. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Uh, I think I got a second version of him. This one's kind of a lame version of the bartender. Oh, God, I always gotta love the fucking bar scene. That's like my favorite scene in almost any movie. And here's him. See, love those. Love them. Um, of course, Sai Snoodles. The narc. He narked him out. He actually looks cool, other than his snoot. Um, of course, you got a hammerhead. Mambo Nodden, is that his name? That's coming back to me. This thing was taken out, I'm pretty sure. This thing pops up. I'm thinking that was taken out of the, the movie. So... Look, I got a bunch of little tables. They're little bar stools. There's their tables. Oh, uh. Talking about football downstairs. I love it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 
I hope there's some kind of a scene in this new movie. Oh, yeah, see, there's... I'm pretty sure this scene was taken out, too. These were just so 70-ish. I mean, they actually looked more 50-ish, I think, in their, in their look, so... They actually made a lot of the bar characters. They really oh, there's a better version of the bartender. Oh, somebody that other one wasn't the bartender. Uh, where'd he go? No, no, that's he don't like you very much. That's who that guy was. I don't like you either. There's the bartender. He <laughs> nice and dirty, dirty face, even like. You just know that guy smells. And there's the guy standing there in his space fucking... It's not an X-Wing pilot outfit, but it's close. He's some kind of a... I'd like to know what kind of ship that uniform goes to. Um, there was him. The million arms. I would hope that his second job is as a masseuse. Can you imagine that? 40 Mars. Working on your fucking... Yeah, never mind. Anyways. And this guy always creeped me out. See, you can't even see his face now. Um. Come on. Give me some... Give me some love here, camera. Do it on my phone, so... But if you guys remember that guy... It's just all darkened out. There's that guy. He got his drink in his hand. Cause I think that's why you see him. He's like holding his drink up. He's just an ugly mug. But, I mean, all these should bring back memories from the movie. This guy over there. Uh, his little things. He's like smoking. And he's got like little whiskers hanging from his face. But apparently the whiskers have been lost long ago. There's on the bottom of that bag. But... Yeah, if you go back, all these people are in that scene. Just briefly, but that's all all that matters. I haven't seen, here's a Bosk. That race. So this is in the scene in the background. Love that. This guy's in there. The bar. And it sucks because there's the, uh, there's two twin girls at one point. And I'm trying to think what their names are. But... People have been begging them to make the twin girls, and they said they refuse. I don't know why. So. Him. Oh, this guy, I remember from the movie. Yeah, I mean, you have to look hard in the scene. If, if you've only seen it once or twice, you probably, all these characters don't look familiar. But if you've seen it fucking, you know, a hundred times, like, me and most of my generation, all those faces are familiar. Especially if you have any, like, the fucking books or something. As a kid, they had scenes from the movies in there. There would be scenes from the bar. And you'd have a couple characters prominent, but you'd have a bunch of little faces in the background. So all these are just familiar. So, and this right here is a nod. Because you got this. This is Snaggletooth. Which actually is not called Snaggletooth now. They actually gave him his alien name now. I can't remember what it is, but... But when we were a kid, the snaggletooth we had was red. Well, the first issue was done in blue, so they did a nod to that. They put out that version, too, in the silver boots and the blue outfit. So you actually get both versions, and I bought them both. So, like I said, these are all the new reissue Star Wars figures. These are, you know, since 94 or whatever. I think I've only got a few of the old ones. I know I've got a couple somewhere. But I mainly concentrate on this because they, they, was, they were so articulated later on, and they just did everybody. So I was just, like, really into this. This guy. It'd be cool if you guys could name some of these as I'm doing them. Because I like to remember some of the names, too, because you'd be like, oh. Oh, yeah, this guy. He was very prominent. I remember his fucking ugly mug. Got the horn. This guy. So, oh, I love my Star Wars figures. This guy, Brainiac. My brain. Look at it, it's on the outside. And this guy. You actually know this guy? 
And this is a girl. I guess these two are lovers. Yeah, that's part of the mythos. That when they filled in their stories, these two are supposed to be lovers. I don't know how that works out. I don't know. And finally, this guy. I mean, that's just really... Whoever made this in the fucking... In the creature shop got really lazy when they made this one that day. So. Okay. Yeah, there's all their little glasses for their hands. Uh, oh, there's the band. The, uh... Ma or not Max Rebo band, but the, uh... Cantina band. That's all their instruments. They got extra instruments. So. And yeah, there's a table, too. So they can sit at it. So. Okay. That's it for today. So, I know I've got more Star Wars figures to show. And now I'll get back to showing some comics. I still got a few days to fucking fill in. So, yeah. I'm just, I got Star Wars fever, man. And there ain't no cure. So, I'm thinking about sitting down and making Gabby watch all six of the Star Wars movies. And it's really against her will. She doesn't want to do it. So, but what kind of dad would I be to not force her, you know? That's good dadding right there. So, okay. Love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.